welcome back to Raising the Robins, Series 3, Episode 5, I think. Yeah, and I'm starting on the finance screen, not because I particularly want to show the finances, they have dipped in the last couple of weeks. We've had to sign a few players up on contracts, which has also had a few signing on fees and players that perhaps weren't even on, they were on non-playing contracts, but we had clubs coming in for them, Boreham Wood was coming in for at least a couple. So we've had to sign them up onto actual contracts just so they don't get poached from underneath us uh, on free transfers with no compensation whatsoever. So, yeah, I'm on this screen, not because of that, but because I went to record and start doing this intro here, and it hit spacebar and it went into the game. So I'm recording this after the game that is in today's episode has been played, so no spoilers to be given. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight in. So, oh, yeah, so last time we had the ball in the game, which was unfortunately a defeat. Today we've got, uh, I've just played the game, I've forgotten who it is, we've got Paul Town. Paul Town, so we'll have a look at the league table at the end, so we'll see... No, we can't look at the table at the end because I've uh, because it had today's, today's result on it. Uh, they're 22nd, I seem to recall, so two places off the bottom. So it was an opportunity for us to come back with a win today uh, on, on the video. We've had um, obviously four and more, and I think before that was Notts County uh, loss as well. So we wanted to get back onto winning ways, so I thought a team in 22nd gave us that best opportunity. So let's see how we've got on since that ball and wood game. So next up were Braintree. I think they were near the bottom as well. They've got Jamie O'Hara, uh, as we know. But we managed to secure a good 2-0 win here. Uh, they went winding up after 8 minutes and we, we did dominate this match. I'm going to put the, the stats on, it's going to probably contradict that now. No, it didn't. Uh, we dominated this match, we just couldn't get the breakthrough. Uh, they weren't doing anything great, we just weren't doing anything good enough. Second half, done a few shouts, done a good team talk at half time, it seemed to do the job. Um, their shot was actually their first shot of the game and outside the box. I mean, FM'd all over. We were pushing as well, but at that point we were looking like more likely to be scoring. They got a highlight out of nowhere, and yeah, outside the box, bang, goal. Uh, but we got one back through Corona uh, on 70 minutes, and in 83rd minute he pops up with another one as well. Um, I think it was a good cross. The keeper left, and it hit the post. I think bounced out, and Corona slid in and got the got the chance. I don't know if that was the first or the second. I think it was the second on 83 minutes. But yeah, 2-1 win, um, back on track. So from a 2-1 win back on track to a 2-1 loss, very much the opposite. Uh, the Harringay Borough, I think, were up in fifth at the time we played them. And again, we took the lead through Omar Chroma, uh, penalty on four minutes. And we were looking, we weren't playing great, but we were, we were getting a lot of conversion on our shots. We weren't getting a lot of shots, but we were hitting them all, most of them on target. They were doing a bit the opposite. They are doing what we've been doing a little bit recently, and having a lot of shots, but not really converting many. Uh, but they hit a long ball over the top. Uh, to make it one all, which was in 78th minute, and then outside the box in the last five minutes. Well, the, all the goal seems to be in the last five minutes. It's, the first one was 79 minutes, obviously, but it felt like it was almost an instant one. But 93rd minute, they just outside the box, top corner, absolutely ridiculous. It's just the same goals all the time, and it's you know we don't score enough of them ourselves, but we just it seems like we face one every game. And it's just getting a bit out of hand now. Or if it's not one of those, it's an over the top or it's a um, set piece. It's just the same, same old, same old, same old. We can't, we can't counter in, uh, factor in for counting out, cutting out all three. You can try and cut one out, but the other one will just, the other two will come into play, something like that. So a lot of work to do on this tactic to get it where we need to be still. But as we get better players coming in, I'm sure we'll see improvements around that. And hopefully if we do get promoted this season, we can try and attract you know, another grade of player again. Uh, hopefully that's the aim anyway. But that would be, yeah, 2-1 loss in this game. Very, very disappointing with a 1-0 lead until the last 10 minutes. And then the final game was this at home. It was a 0-0, boring 0-0 draw with Weymouth. They were about 9th or 10th in the league. Uh, we probably just edged it, but not enough to say, yeah, we definitely should have won. But there was very little in the way of highlights for both sides. It was just literally going on the match stats. We had a few more shots, we had a few, one more on target, and we had a lot more possession. Does that equal us deserving to win? Possibly, but we didn't, so what can we say? A nil-nil draw. Uh, luckily, uh, Boreham Wood did actually draw at this stage as well, so they drew their game. So it kept us, without showing you the league table, because I can't at the moment because of the game. You'll see the league table at the end of this game and what it does, but at this stage, we were level on points with Boreham Wood, 57 points each, something like that. So very, very tight. And Dartford, I think, are back in third. They just slipped behind a little bit more because they lost the game before the last game. So I 
significant they won after that, but they, they, they did lose a game, so they've slipped away. They, they were only a point behind us at one point, so they've slipped a bit further behind. And yeah, so that's going to bring us to today's episode, uh, which is Paul Town. So we'll cut to the lineups right now. So here are the lineups. We're going with the usual back, or well, yeah, the usual back four. Donald slipped in now instead of OO Technology. I think I've mentioned that in one episode. He's kind of back in now. Uh, the goalkeeper as well remains as they're the same. Ossu's coming at left midfield. We do now have uh, is it Max? Yeah, Max Morn at centre back, and we've got Bolton at centre, uh, centre back, centre midfield driver, and Bolton at centre midfield as well. And we've switched Koboa over to the right hand side. Asal's kind of really gone off the boil, so we've, we've had a bit of a switch up. And then Kilman's coming up front. Chrome was banging the in. He's, he's getting goals here and there. Bola has kind of gone off the boil a little bit. Kerry as well, and Tori Simpson's maybe not quite up to scratch, but. We'll give it a go. The midfield, I'm not quite sure on this set, but I mean, this team is 22nd in the league. I think they're actually bottom. 22nd? No, two off the bottom, I think. I think there's 24 teams. So, even with this lineup out, though, it is key to note that Paul did just win their last game 2 1 away. Um, I can't remember who it was against, but it was only two days ago as well. So, they should actually be knackered. We played like seven, six or seven days ago, so we've had a bit more time to rest. So, hopefully, um, we can come into this. It gives us a bit of an advantage, but nothing happens straight away. And we're in our yellow kit here, or white kit really, but it shows us yellow. It's showing us yellow on my screen. It might be differently on, on, on YouTube and on your screen right now. I'm not too sure. A bit like that dress a, a couple of years ago. Was it black and black or gold or black or blue or something? The kit could be looking different. But yeah, we're playing it nicely advantage of the box. Bolton here finds Corboa. Can he find a cross? He does. No one's really in there. Kelman's up front as well. He's kind of... I think I did mention it in the in the little uh, lineups there. He's played the last game, didn't really, as you saw, didn't do too much in there. Oh, it's a mistake, and Kelman's in, and we're just saying he didn't do too much. He scored within four minutes in this game and gives us a 1-0 lead. And we've had two shots, they've had zero, 21% possession for them as well. Really turning the screw on them in this game so far. A long ball from off the, crazy, the mad world of Arthur Brown, or was it crazy world of Arthur Brown? Bad header back from there, was it left back and Kelman's just there to knock it away like a poacher does. And it's a throw in here, Corboa finds a few. And oh, it's a great save from Weaver. I don't know if that's Nicky Weaver, the old Man City keeper from the late 90s, early noughties. But it's a corner, straight through. Poor one. You start with a goal kick here, just before half time. It's probably going to be the, the highlight that sees the game or the half out. Morn had the chance to play the long ball over the top there for Cromer. He didn't take it. He takes it at the second attempt and Kilman's in. It's a penalty. He's tripped. Cromer's got his opportunity to get his 29th goal of the season. I think it's in 29 games as well. An absolutely fantastic season. We're only sort of, what are we in February now, I think? And he bangs it away. Roll that music. Roll that clip. Cromer is back in business. We're back in business on the camera as well. We've Drop the camera shine this and we're tuning up. Still a long way to still yeah, still for twelve minutes to play this game, so we could still fluff it up. Hopefully not, hopefully not. In fact it wasn't even uh, the second half. I we hadn't even got to half time, I don't know what I was thinking. Um so we get into half time two nil up very good. I mean we have still technically got forty five minutes to go. Um I was right in that fact, but I thought we were in the second half, I thought the second half had just started, but had a bit of a, a brain fart there. We're doing quite well, we're not overpowering them at all in terms of chances or anything like that but and they scored their first highlight <laughs> oh, 2-1 just to add a bit of pressure on Kenny Clark don't know who he is I mean it's a great header but it's a set piece again if we could eradicate the, the same old same old goals that would be fantastic over the top outside the box or set pieces are pretty much much it. There's never any really sort of good working or anything like that. It's always one of those three. So you should pick this up nicely here. Drive the defence. He does. Looks inside. Kroma's back stick. Can he volley? He doesn't. He brings it down. Kelman's there. Drops it back to... Oh, that's worked really nicely. Can we get the second bite of the cherry? We don't. We sh that should have been a goal. We had two or three opportunities there to really get a good shot away and get a goal, but we didn't take it. Boa with the free kick. Finds Bolton. We have to get the second ball, we don't, we're going to get counted now, oh, we were just saying, oh, put the tackle in, two opportunities there, he had that, get that loose ball and he didn't take it, we were just saying, 2-0 up, you know, long a lot of football to go, 
we could fluff it up. We're looking like that might actually, we might actually get FM to get done because we're doing enough to be winning this game fairly clearly and confidently, but they've just got that little bit of threat against them. Paroma, yeah, not quite good enough there from outside the box. We don't score from outside the box quite as often. You, whips it in. There we go, cash in. Hopefully makes the game with well, 30 minutes to go. Hopefully makes it a bit more secure. Good free kick, whipped in, and Cashew's at the back stick. Cashew, Cashin, even. That was just nuts. Uh, gets his goal. I mean, he's not quite on Popo levels of goals, but he's he's doing all right. I looked away, look at the TV for a second. I didn't see a highlight going on. I think we defended a free kick or a corner or something. But we've Kerry's done. I think it was Kerry uh, done really well to create a counter attack here. I'll see you. First and down the left gets gets sort of pushed inside really, but he finds us. Look back to Arthur Brown who finds Asal who can drive at defence himself here, finds Karoma. That's a good tackle, we just need to get this header and get this away. Somehow he's able to take that down and play a great ball through and he should be scoring but thankfully he doesn't. I don't think 3-2 would be a deserving score this game. They only had three shots on target. You know, we've had a lot of possession, we've had a lot of chances, we've had a lot of chances on target as well. 3-1 is probably... The 1 is a bit harsh but... A fair result overall. Uh, we've got about a minute to go for the end of this game. That, yeah, that is certainly three points in the bag. It'd take a miracle for us to throw this away from here. Playing it nicely uh, back to the goalkeeper. About to cash in again. Finds us to you. Driving at the defence again. Finds Carey. Picks it up. I'm not sure what that ball was, but that should end the game. No, we've got 30 seconds left, so maybe not. That's not one of those highlights that ends the game, but not this time. Again, left row in goes to them, doesn't go to us, bizarrely. But that is the end of the game, 3-1. Great win, back, well, great to get back to winning winning ways, I guess. We've had a few iffy results recently, and certainly on camera, we've had a couple. I mean, one of them was against, in recent times, with the FA Cup game against the team, what? four divisions above us, about three or four divisions above us, so it's not too shoddy, but a few of the league games recently have been a little bit on the shocking side. So let's see where that leaves us in terms of league table and I guess where we're going to come back for. So there's the league table, Boreham Wood did manage to get a win as well, beating St Albans 1-0. That not, I mean, we're, they're level on points of us still, uh, we've got 10, point, no, 10 goals ahead of them. Same sort of record, we're four points clear of Dartford now, they drew a, a couple of games ago, they did win again today against Eastbourne Borough, as expected really. Uh, playoff places should be getting to the point now, or very soon, where they're secure, because what are we, nearly 20 points clear, maybe not quite, but it's very unlikely that we're going to fall outside these places, we're going to pick up enough points surely to secure that at, le at least. I'd be disappointed if we even finish sort of below sort of third at this stage because what we got nearly a 10 point advantage on them was like nine points advantage on them something like that nine points yeah so schedule wise we're going to come back we are going to come back for well, it's going to be in march so I mean, we've done maidenhead recently so we won't do that game we'll probably do we've got Oxford City and Hemel Hempstead both kind of down here so we're chipping them and, um, mid table, I mean that would kind of make sense a little bit but I quite like having these wins on camera, it's been a little while so let's come back maybe for I don't know, I'm going to be playing these for at work tomorrow it's been a bit tricky getting on in the afternoons, I've been doing all the editing, recording and uploading in the mornings and, and then by the time the afternoon comes there's people floating around and it's getting a bit difficult to play but I managed to get a few in today so yeah, I think maybe we'll be aiming for, aiming for chipping them but if we have to settle for Oxford or Hemel Hempstead uh, depending on how I get on tomorrow uh, at work, um, back in the gym tomorrow after work as well, uh, getting the uh, New Year's fitness regime back on track, had a few uh, iffy days and whatnot and just getting back into work and all that so yeah that's going to be happening so playing at home in the evenings which is the other thing I do and have done tonight and yesterday isn't really going to be happening tomorrow so anything I do at work so that's where we'll come back yeah we, we, we won't go on too much about that. So if you enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like down below, uh, as well as a sub if you're new to the channel, uh, just, you know, please stick around. Um, and any comments as well, uh, you know, we're coming up to the end of the season now, so 
anything you want to see uh, specifically coming up, we can try, I can try and squeeze in before the end of the season. Uh, yeah, so that leaves that really. So uh, until the next episode, we'll come back for, yeah, wherever. <laughs> As always, wherever. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.